15 seconds remaining. Radiant team, ban. Dire team, ban. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our coverage of the MDL Lamp. Uh, my name's Eddie Pixel, I'm Charlie Drasco, and we're here now for game two Evil Geniuses versus OG. And, well, Andy, one, it was a little bit of a mess for OG. Can they get back in game two? I would think so. I mean, I still think that EG's plan and lineup wasn't bad. It's just that they deviated, I think, a little bit too far from the laning phase and just trying to do too much instead of just playing it a bit more slow and then getting the core items that you need and then running around the map like madmen and trying to find kills. I think that's really what hurt them the most. But we are moving on to game number two. Uh, we can see OG's hero prioritization. They pretty much, they had first pick or wait, did they have first pick in the first game? EG has first pick now, which leads me to believe that they should have had first pick in game one. Uh, I can't remember. But either way, they ban OD. So they, they obviously- ban OD. You don't want OD. Yeah. They value this hero super highly, because they picked it for Ana, he destroyed on it. They don't want to play against it because they don't have first pick, so they're removing it, which is understandable given the performance that he just had. So I'm curious to see if with the, the OD being taken out, if EG wants to try something similar to what they did in game one, because I feel like that was probably one of the only heroes outside of OG that could have had as much influence as he did, barring maybe Fly, who was also everywhere and making sure that he was getting kills. So we'll find out here in a second. Right, let's see what they open with. EG. Is it going to be something similar to the last game or something different? It's going to be similar. They still take that IO for crit. I mean, certainly, a you know, crit, IO, it's solid. You know what I mean? There's, I don't really think you can put that pick or blame in, in game one. You know, it's IO crit is going to be fine. Pretty much whatever game. You just got to change what you do around it. But you can always rely on just just picking that up first for crit. It's, it's super safe. Yeah, I feel like... He didn't really get a chance to showcase how good he actually is at the hero. Primarily because they fell behind at, I would say, a very early stage. Not necessarily in terms of farm and experience, but because of what their lineup was supposed to be able to do. And it just never really got to that point. So this time around, hopefully he can have a better showing. The OG. They're going with the Konkasang King. This looks oh like an e-home opening, honestly. Like, if I was watching TI it's... and I didn't know yeah. the names of either of these teams, I'd be like, this is e-home playing right now. And I'm, um, I mean, I'm sure in these games it will be touched upon. There's still a Shadow Demon and a Luna in the lineup, you know, in the draft pool available. I mean, yeah. I, I don't even think be aware. that's not going to get through, surely. I, I mean, at least the Shadow EG, Demon for sure. I don't think the EG can pick Shadow Demon though. Yeah, yeah. But the Shadow Demon I was just too weak as a combo. Yeah, because you you yeah. need a, a core that can actually do something with the Shadow Demon, and I feel like most of the time you want it to be the other support. Or have, like, I guess an invoker or something if you're going to be sending it mid. So I guess maybe they could do it, but I don't feel like it's super strong. And similar to in the last game, they picked the, the Omni Knight Io. That does make your laning phase pretty subpar, which is why I feel like they they felt forced into the situation where they had to go aggro try. Because if they didn't do that, then their supports were going to be pressuring the map a cumulative zero. They just do nothing. So. Yeah, I'm curious to see if he's going to deviate from that kind of pick two supports that have more of a mid-game timing and just say screw the laning fist, because it's kind of what they did in the first game, even though their aggro try ended up pressuring enough to be able to get, you know, universe to farm. We'll find out here. I'm taking the time with this on e It's an important match. You know, dropping down at this stage, you need a bit of a rocket position as you go through. Uh, I believe you'll be playing day two uh, if you lose. Today. But they're going to stick with the same ult. They want that combo. The Io, the Omni Knight. I mean, to be fair, you know, I, we imagine it will be crit Io and die Omni Knight. They both can play vice versa. I think that a big difference this time is when they pick it, because last game Omni was third pick. So they move the pick up to second, yes. which means they're going to ban Naga. Or they're going to ban something that they feel like last game was annoying. Maybe Oracle. Who knows? Because I think that OG could still potentially field Oracle and it would be good. Heck, maybe they even ban them both. I don't know. But both of those heroes are really good against Omni because Omni doesn't offer any wave clear and Oracle can just dispel everything that you do. So it's 
It's pretty much a, a hard counter. And there we go. Yeah. You, you just, I mean, throw it in the first series today, you know. You don't, as a team, want to want to go against an Argo twice. Especially if you lose to it. If you beat it, then fair enough. But, you know, especially if you're going to run the same two kind of IO heroes that can be pretty screwed by a farm Naga. Don't let it through. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where in the first game they probably thought that just the aggro try would be enough to shut it down. And if their rotations worked, I think they could have easily snowballed the game. Because the defensive plays from OG were just a little bit too strong and allowed no tail to get off the ground. Obviously Anna had a standout performance. And all those things kind of coming together just made the Omni Knight feel pretty lackluster. But this time around they're gonna get rid of one of the biggest issues that he had in the last game, which was his inability to actually take fights because all the lanes were just constantly being pushed out. So now up against a Kunkka and a Sand King with, you know, no Naga Siren, Omni Knight yeah. seems a heck of a lot better than he did in the first game already. So we'll, we'll see how much, um, you know, Crit wants to prioritize maybe getting rid of the Oracle, because I feel like that hero was also really, really annoying for him. Or maybe they have a different plan here. But yeah, there goes Storm Spirit again. We talked about the synergy in game one. They last banded on the side of OG when uh, they were looking to pick Sumail's hero. I mean, do you think that, are the, I mean, if you're EG, are you just not worried about a Shadow Demon? I mean, it's, with the Kunkka SK, you know, you've got the set, it's, uh, you know, the ult online, it can really deal with anyone that Omni's trying to save. It is annoying, but I think that Shadow Demon is in some ways easier to deal with than, okay. like, an Oracle, for example, because the Oracle prevents damage output, saves the hero, and it doesn't, you know, make you stationary for two and a half seconds. So it's not as much as a hard save, but okay, they're actually going to ban the SD instead, so... Yeah, as you said, this could mean that OG will get the Oracle. Yeah. Which you think, if you're OG, you, as you said, you you would rather... You you want that Oracle. I would you, I would want Oracle yeah. over Shadow Demon personally, but I don't yeah. know how the teams actually favor the... Obviously, you know... I think more the partner for the Shadow Demon would be... A little bit more... I think... Combination of... Oh, Demons, not just and there is. It's exactly as you said. They, I, and you feel as well that if you asked OG in that position, would you rather you get the hands on the Shadow Demon or the Oracle? You probably would have the Oracle. I that Oracle is and soul because okay. there's no reason. Okay. Last game, you actually able to develop with everything else. And so, is technical person it's really, really great. I'm just coming out. I mean, is this definitely going to be a universe axe, or could, could we say anything like a Samael axe? Could they switch the, the role, the, kind of the lanes around as such, or will this be a universe axe? I, I would say yeah. that it's really axe. How G has to do it. It's guaranteed sank, probably. And uh, they're going to hurt their position. One, two, last pick. As soon as they see one of those, it will be a lot better. They will be a lot better. I would most likely say that it's going to be universe act. Alright, OG now. Still for what we'd expect to be Anna and Nutel Zero. Unless they want to do something like an Anna SK mid. Uh, okay, you need to know the match. Okay. But they, so they are, yeah. So uh, is that more more like for Anna to playing that rather than No Tail? Do you think? Uh, it's a more far more into heroes. I think actually No Tail would be the one. Yeah, that's kind you of don't adopted. Think you put him in. Kind of adopted. Merkel. Okay. So no Tail is the one by headers. Anna's gonna take the role that No Tail used to play, where he's being here to actually do. So yeah, from that. I think it's more Reserve obvious time. it's interchangeable. At the last mm. game, you do that. It's like more explaining in places, which is what makes good heroes. And you're like, okay, well, whatever happens in their core last, just like what you're doing in the draft. Just up your lines, so we see that we see at least one goal. I'm very interested to see what oh, see. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess it's unlikely to see the RTZPA come through again. We saw him early in the series. Uh, he did play the spark. I mean, did an RTZ spark. I. Tusker. Or 
Yeah, you get oh. more. Oh. Yeah, is... oh. So now, now it's a time. Now, oh. you were just going to wig it. That's okay. pretty much the approach that okay. you can But let's go back and image. And you're really strong. It's like just in. Yeah. During the match, have no way of killing. It would just be impossible. Plus, as I said, it's great. But you're going to pick up the house, which is a very good way of playing the game. Yeah. And it's something that's a little bit different. I mean, obviously, all is kind of the warning sign for a pick always has. Or backing up. I mean, it's time to have an iron and only in so, really good still, yeah. Still, but yeah, you, you have a lot that's they keep you alive and in the front lines of the fights. So the question is just how they finish it off and and that has well, is it, you know, there's gonna be some male playing or are these um, So male's more of a Huskar player, isn't he? Male so yeah. Yeah, I guess they're expecting a to take it. I guess technically Arcor and Samel both play Raider at the This ends G think are gonna give it Huskar Link much at least now and that's why they bad player. I guess that's how they're going to be able to believe I guess. Yes, yeah, looking out for that matchup. You know, EG now. The final pick. And it's going to be Ursa. So, yeah, looking to the lanes be what? Huskar mid, Axe off lane, Ursa bottom. Maybe having one of the supports drift over to help Huskar in the early game. And heck, they could even do better like Ursa. Yeah. So, yeah. They would put. You know, Axe against the skin, not a terrible matchup. I don't know what they're going to pick it because I think it's going to be Anna's hero. I saw that. Actually, Well, you can't play Marana without Anna. Uh, it's not going to be. He's going to play it. Yeah, he's going to play more. Yeah. No tell Marana. Indeed, he's going to play. So, in terms of the game plan here, like, is that. FEG's rest, what have they changed to? What are they trying to do that's different to game? So, um, they lane lines and being able to snowball. Where I think that this time, um, being on raid and that it's a little bit easier to And so, you'll be able to threaten Roshan early. And it you to put a lot of OG to make sure that they themselves are very active on the map and they have to make their own move. And OG just Waiting for little geniuses to come to them, like, in front of them. It's pretty much all they have to do. Just go up for the support, wait for each of the to counter. And one time around, you don't have to go that They're actually going to force OG to make their own moves by virtue of the threat. Like Roche and have that really good team. Um, actually, like, EG's draft war can end the game. Or is really online, right? To, to is there a reason why Crit Yellow smoked? Uh, actually. Okay. I think it's pretty much just a. This is a reward that I have. It yeah. doesn't have any rewards, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. done. I'll be honest. Really, I'm just a. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna do one room? I have no idea. As a. Well, I'll see you across the Cat uh, with the the very nice setup and the uh, RT. Oh, yeah, uh, go pick that one up. So yeah, <laughs> RT easy. Thank you reward and uh, use okay. the arrow. Get a few swipes in there. Uh, full force. Uh, but, uh, look at the lineup. So over on the side of G and at the moment, yeah, looks like he will actually be uh, taking him towards that top lane. And uh, actually, RT easy. Still in a bit of trouble. The again, these arrows for no He's missed a couple. Doesn't look like it's going to matter. An S4. He certainly dropped out in the first game. Game two. Going to be a good stuff as well. Getting first blood in RTZ. I mean, tech. Not the start that they wanted. EG. I didn't even against the game. I started dropping before the game started. Jeez. Oh, boy. That is not what Especially getting a decent game. All right, so lanes. Going to be against. Uh, going to be against Marana. I think Marana had a great first time in this matchup, but it should be helpful for him to either. We should be able to get like some farm. 
that looks like they're actually getting a couple of forwards. I decided to give them a little bit of relief, just understand how hard the matchup actually is Marana. And they got a crit there to back him up, so it's a hard kill for OG to try and for. And that's, of course, the lanes S4 it's easy, that 1v1 match for the time being. Jerry's gonna head down there. And fly gonna head up top, make this a, a 2v2 drill lane for the time being. And I'll say flame more thing, Universe on the X, and uh, backing him up on the Omni Knight. Uh, all things you can learn with that start crown kind of out of way. Do you like what EG's doing this game? Do you feel this could be. Him has the potential for a Husk guard to just run out of control? Yeah, yeah. Go. Uh, middle lane, Matt. Very good. Uh, yeah, currently. Because. Kill. Sumail gets the 3 4 to try to. He's. Like, like counter. Like. Top. Hard. The morph doesn't have any really good way to finish up the tower super hard. To just under pull this fly and blocking this. It's super play. Only when you have these push hard like there's an axe and stuff like that. And you pull it back and on top of it. Fly a bit. Bottom lane. Jarex has toying around with RTZ. Uh, they don't have the mana to go for another burst strike. Jarex has got a turn in him. RTZ turning around. S4's got very stacks on him. He has to be careful there. What a touch from RTZ will actually kill S4, but just managed to get himself back under the cover of the tower. He's coming back up and quit. Been a bit, a bit of a boost here. RTZ's going to come in and S4 oh, got no escape here. One more touch oh. over the tower and holding him back. Jarex with oh. the plays. RTZ's going to go down for the second time this game. And now Jax and S4 force crit back. Art Easy giving up his life in the first couple of minutes of this game. It's not the start that EG needed for their carry. Okay, three, two, and... Okay. Oh. This lane is... Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Or high. Online. Oh, it's easy. I'm a from the tower. I mean, this is... There's only one thing about this here, you know, torrent, what, 90 mana cost. That, that's not a lot, so you, the spammability of it is uh, a lot of issues for us, easy, on this melee core. Yeah, he has got crit pretty much babysitting him now, and I think we could probably expect crit to uh, pretty much stay down here for a good bit of a while, making sure our easy can catch up and farm. nightmare. <laughs> You can burrow for five. It's got plastic. Let's see what's mid, Jarex. Let's come across. Uh, so, Mel's already back. So, dude. And he's, I mean, he certainly is, certainly is one of his lane here. Yeah. 11 against the 13 3. It's really been bullying No Tail right back. A bit hard to go for. It's not. Uh, it's not connect and slam. Yeah, he can just walk this off. Helm as well. He's a bit of a brute at this stage of the game. Not a lot OG can do to deal with him, especially just two heroes. Gonna do a few more down if they want to try something. Top Universe, eh? Bins off. I know. It's very low. Potentially there. One thing about more. Really. Here, can just show. Yes, sir. What mid lane again? They're trying for this torrent amber arrow combo, but they seem to miss it most times. The male will still go down. Jax, struggling off the, the aggro for the time. So the OG get the kill. But yeah, no, just a little bit, be a little bit quicker off the mark with these arrows. Kind of um, overestimate uh, the stun duration of a torrent. And they're not connecting. Still 3 0, OG with the kill. Oh, still support. One. Yeah. There. 
He's not communicating with the rest of the team. It's just fucking like. Our team needs to be a bit careful here as well. I mean, there's a, a fair bit of us test for and fly around. No support at the moment hanging around with him. In fact, no tells. Oh, I crit himself. I, he's really got any way to get out of this, especially with Luck coming across. It's going to be a free kill here for no tell on the Marauder. And now Arteezy left his own. So come across, look for no tell who leaps away. And for a bit of a chase down, a little bit of an arrow, he's going to go for the TP back to cement up the damage. Purification from Zai they do. So EG getting themselves on the board with the kill. Yeah, Universe trying to go in, looking for the spins, but Jarex hit the X mark into the tower. Be a little bit careful about these these spins, but it's not going mean, to find anything in return. OG Universe with no cost at all, apart from the bottom lane. So EG this time, they see the opening, they go for a trade, and they are successful in getting it. Fires for on the same in return. So he didn't lose any quite as out of the but he didn't pull that out to him. Oh, crit. I mean, we've talked up some man's diet performance, but uh, this series, getting caught out, placed a couple of times, and just three gold on OG. As, I mean, Jarex, he's been having a great game on the cut. Two, three, got him five of the skills, and just constantly making his presence being felt by EG across the map. It's kind of moves in. That's I can move it. Just the tip. It's enough catch out easy. Not trying to the X mark into towards actually lose S4 and in fact with the array, Jart's easy. He's able to turn it around swap. He wants to find Jerax as well. The moonlight's gonna be there. Do they have detection? They do. A sentry is dropped down. Jerax to be taken as well. Flight's ending up looking for some kind of kill him turn, but he has to be careful. Moonlight, in fact. Run out in a second or two. No tell frozen out, but it's gonna be out. Now, let's see if they chase this one down. RTZ, he's hungry, he's angry. He's gonna look to try for fly. He's going to eat. Grit's going to back him up. There's the gap. TP now coming through. The disarm oh. there onto Artur, so he can't find anything else. And Crit, oh, again, he's gonna get punished for this. OG, take down Crit. This Crit can kind of put the blame on Artur, who was going in very aggressive. Uh, EG. They do find those two kills off Fuzzy Wuzzy, which is exactly what RTZ needed to be able to help in, but again, costing Crit his life as RTZ looks for more, and he just can't quite get it chasing down Fly on the Oracle. It's always going to be hard for the potential of Fly to just turn around and drop a disarm. Yeah, that's one of the things that's really interesting about Fly against Oracle. You can do stuff like that. Uh, but they use it on the texture pretty secure on that tour. Yeah. Yeah, things do. I want a way to honor some yeah. Especially if you're gonna have the AO, just get that extra bonus and then just put the phase doing that. Approach and stay down. But either way, I would do some different tricks. Getting the. You can see on the net at the moment. It's very close. The three because of G slice it. Uh, it's easy. Okay, so the mayor, he just up down there, it looks like he'd be bottom just for killing the... Still so, up top, Jarek's gonna go leap here, how did he get away? Holy shit, Jarek's getting away. No one else is going to Hey, finds himself so looking for an S4 now. You're not gonna be down to mail a little too low. Not quite sure if anything... Well, he did have a war engine here while that was playing I it. I think it was, it was more that like, he didn't play anything. It's not a hit on. 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 Not a h
awesome. And for you to get more power is. And Bosia said EG. Looking to find another down on the side of OG. Falling low already. OG, hey, oh, I'm wounded. It is entry. Yep. But it feels bad, and we watch this. They EG went away. And OG realized. Just out of range as well, around sentry. But OG dropped. Yeah. Dude, I'm feeling the pressure here in this early game. And it literally comes on in terms of worth of skill to add and help and he's not getting anything on the team fights for quite a while. And we're worried about like Arcane and Shen, Dagnabi, Ak, and it's not just here in the game itself. Which is the amount of work that he's extended is insane. And that tire they want to make it. A lot of that's gonna be down to again. Thank you. More like a late stage. I'd say that she had a pretty good shot. That point, really advantage their hero. Yeah, RTC has been able to do a lot more yeah, so compared to the PA. You know, this early on stage, he doesn't need to rely on kind of having the burst from from size verification. He can take down heroes on his own, thanks to those swipes. And three kills in the bag, and as you said, with the blinks online, you can certainly continue to look for more action mid lane. Got Zai smoked up behind some in case anyone from the side of Asia wanted to have a go. Universe has got eyes on Anna. Do they have to lock down on the damage to deal with him? Oh, looks like they want to go elsewhere. Yeah, they want to get one of these kills mid. No tail and flight moving close together. The call onto No tail. He did manage to get the leap off as well, so just far enough away to keep himself safe. Straight Roshan? Like, I don't know. just being watched at the moment by Jax. Bottom lane, S4. Very close to his blink dagger. And uh, Universe is there, and S4. Yeah, he could be stepped back a little bit here. And he will be indeed set back just about. I think it's about a couple of hundred gold placed back, but it is important that he does find that timing on the blink. They need him for these fights. So, clean pick off from EG, 6 to 7, and I mean, already this game is just looking to come together much more nicely for EG than, than game 1, which which fell apart pretty quickly. Yeah, and it's been going back to the planes was so important because they were best time I really want that. I just remember him. Did create a little bit of space there for EG to the top. I'm not sure. I mean, OG can obviously still win. Oh, yeah. They need to climb. Obviously, the Agony is start to deal with the amount of damage. It's interesting, which is actually really good. That is a big high for that team. Still alive. Could act like a That's part of the did not try. Even though S. That one. Word. Yeah. They're very, very close now again. S4 to that. But yeah, EG just swarming themselves around the map, ready to take a fight. You know, Samael and RTZ both in very good places to, to jump down and, and just absolutely chunk the hero of OG to pieces. Roshan is there. RTZ just got to look to it. No life still on him at the moment, but he can take it down pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. Question is, do I actually get themselves over here to stop it? S4, very hesitant to fight with the fact that he is so close to that blink. And looks like just the speed that EG able to do this, it's not going to allow OG any time to react. So they will get away with that Roche, and this, of course, limits it, maintain a very nice position that he's managed to find themselves in now. And we can see, yeah, top of the net with the two of them. It is still very, very close, but EG, they can pack a lot of punch if they find these fights at this timing. And that's what they want to do. Look top. Oh, this is... He's got backup coming out. S4. Look for the epi. But the call from Universe to stop the epi going off. S4 will be saved. But Universe, with that play, may have just saved Artizi's life. It's easy to come on, but fly. TP's out. Uh, Universe just in time with the call.
really in that early. Honestly, you really need to a quick power. I mean, you look at dang, what not is I have the hero to a division. It's crap, but I owe present. It's just about structures. Like, that's what you really want. Having the over attack, mitigation, and whatnot. More lifting. Mana. Oh, actually, mid lane towards that. Samel's just jumped in onto Jerax. Right. Turns around with a bit of a hold. S4 coming in with Murder Strike into the arrow. Samel has got the Aegis. So we'll be there for round two. Just don't do anything about. Don't have Anna. I can keep up with the pressure down on the bottom left. Uh, Universe coming across. Half DG's there as well. Take down Jerax. Emperor's out for the count. But Anna pass betrayed though. Manages to find a tier two down bottom. The fight might not be over yet, yet though. S4. Getting himself away. Uh, blinks off cooldown. So he'll be fine. Tier two in the mid lane may not be though. Z. Need to find that one. Anna, he is knocking on their doorstep. Do we have TPs? We do, so they can back up for this defense. In fact, they're going to look straight for Anna. Anna goes deep and goes out. Anna is forcing EG to at the same time, though. EG did take the fight mid. They found the kill onto No Tail. EP back now will mean they can't find anything best for. As Epicenter up very, very shortly. Anna forces them back, but they do still lose No Tail on the Marana in the mid lane. I mean, but regeneration uh, wasn't necessary. We still get it up with me. Pushing is not for EG. It's a bit really good to later. It's being so good. And three to one. I want to really, really care. I never really them in a line and so. so because we'll be able to push away. Doesn't get to, to the E blade or whichever. You're gonna have a team by the EDM thing to wait. Top universe goes in with a call. Play Mel's there as well. Falling low. He has got the red but he's already managed to obviously come over here by jumping to the illusion. So can he get out? He can. TP's there. And there's one other thing about EG's lineup. They have not got a lot of tool to cancel TP. Pretty much just a Zerker's call on his own. That's it. So TP's are pre pretty much the aim of the game for OG. And uh, I guess one of the reasons as well why this makes it such a good draft for Anna to be playing the Morphling in. Yeah. Oh, difficult to get zero in. And EG had a counter. that's big. Is they hit their time. Does typically. Then just in the. Yeah. G. Dang the whole time. Later, it was stuck. Gonna. G. Oh, yeah. Okay. Rode and a bit. It. Maybe. Next. Roche. Stuck. Real. Image. Not it's easy. He's going to have. But it's onto an illusion. Realize that now. Do find the tier 2 though. EG. What do they want to go for next? We've got one and two to look to take from bottom lane. Well, we've got S4 hanging around at the moment. He's nearly hit level 11 and has got a TP, so he'll be able to get that to where get back. Still, obviously, a fair bit of time before uh, Roshan will be back up. Two, EG. See if they can find anything. Jarek Sexes himself comes across. They'll get a bit of intel. See if he can spot anyone out. EG will just maintain their position, tank up the tier 1, take that away from. S4's gonna stay down on the bottom lane, maybe see if anyone comes out to clear this wave as support, so see if he can pop a solo kick an epi. E take the tower. Network wise, it is EG with a lead, but only just this game. Very, very close to this stage. So, very, very depending on who takes the best better. Can delay the game. I can uh, continually kill for EG though. Yeah, that's not... Ooh. <laughs> nice for. Yeah, we were spotted up there, they could have to cross each other. Our universe still hunting, but it realizes the Sand King's out. Uh, RT... That one no tell. That tell has the axe, he's got a fair bit of burst. If he lets the Aegis do some damage first... I mean, Jerex is there in range with a torrent. Yeah, oh, nice force turn up. Jumping on, it's easy. Oh, no. in range, though. 
With the cool Tenota, each key turning a star, the males are located in by crit, and they punish half there. And it's to kill that's easy. I mean, it's oh, if, if you can't stop him from getting rage off, you're not likely to kill him. And there's going to be the chance for this kind of turn. They've got yeah. to that, and Anna, what up? I have caught a dog okay. perfect from Universe. Big, big kills, EG fly. S Force in around here has the epicenter. Is he gonna go? Ooh, that call must have just been out of range. Nearly, nearly catch S Force there. S Force will survive. Unus himself and nice. double kill. Back. He's continuing to chase down Oh, He's got a call. S Force has a TP, so he, he cannot to TP straight out. But in fact, well, with these crits here, it's gonna be a chance. A lot of damage to come out from Universe. Not quite enough. S Force blinks out. Artizi's there. See if the oh, oh that is bash Artizi. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's, it's been stuck the wrong side of a chain of Boston. It's happening again. Didn't quite find him. Really, it's, I think that why people did that. Dumb spots and just yeah. Room for, so, but got somewhere. But yeah, that's six coming in from B. But they were gonna kill. This is the story. Another point between the, the next one and the tip. Okay, it's just leap out on wall, that's easy. Don't find that shit. So, the hotel is out. I mean, this is obviously uh, a big deal for you in terms of controlling Roshan. Making sure that they can get that on their side again. For uh, either Samaya or Artizi. I mean, Samaya looking for this stage, looking very good on the uh, first go. A half thousand, no, a half and... Yeah, I was more than there to do the damage at this steady game, so he has the tools. Yeah. Especially if we have five instead. No tell, he leapt oh, into oh, this oh. each G. They have you there with the counter. And an interesting pickup as well. I can't this universe going for the shadow blade this game. So he has uh, extra meth which is closing in and getting the, the chance to jump in for these big calls and what? But ball finds himself a fly. This time flies to some isn't going to do much. So Artizi had the array available. So EG 12 to 7 looking very good at the moment in game 2. And yeah, Universe, he, he's having a good game as we saw pretty much V in series earlier. He's he's doing well for himself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he gets cool and Art can pop back through. Damage is going to be there every time. RTZ Universe can just, as two duo, kill whoever on the map. May not be there, unless you need know, gets lucky with the skins he died. But the, the pick-off potential is matter. Yeah. Just going dry my... Is there timing? Timing. But probably, I guess you want to be that's you need to because the I still have a second that's in get each a lot of playing hockey scare and get item and the is gonna count to what it's at the stage it's in two to the game on where he was getting my question the whole time. Sure, it's a deep kind of influence. Just that Ooh. Oh, not to him. As you mentioned, he gets the start crit. Cut. has the blood cage. He's actually not using it for the same thing. What keeps the male around? Because they want to fight it. Jumps in onto Anna. Puts himself out of the illusion. Needs to find anything else in return. And oh, it was enough damage. Ends up still going around the burn. After like false promise, where's EG? They'll look to punish the Oracle himself as well, getting another. And EG, they really are pulling it together here in game two. Game one was pretty much less than a shambles, but here they're looking like the well-coordinated team that they need to against OG. And well, this is strength to strength for each stage 24 minutes in the worst going to skyrocket pretty high probably around the 10 game lead at this point and you know this line up with the Husker she's the stand if this Husker gets ahead with he certainly is OG 
They're going to struggle with bots and to be able to get to the point where we can deal with them. For what? Yeah. It's because the Rankins are pretty good. It's the point pick, really, because it's just pretty cool. don't have to keep it. It's going to be better. So, did they? Gen. Alright, hey, see you again. Oh, no tell. A bit of an awkward leap here. And now he's got crit and a hard team to deal with. No tell. With no out, he's gone. No tell, Marana. Has certainly kind of failed to perform in a few of the missions the game. And I mean, okay, universe. So they can whoever he wants. Finds S4 and meanwhile, EG2 here is down on the know that they've just got the high ground RTZ jumping in. Yep. He's gonna head over. X mark and RTZ pounding the ground. And he go for this long flight and Anna Arthur to hold him back. This will be enough. So you can't finish off Jerex, but just creating space for Samel to hit there. Pounds the towers. The tier 3 is down for the wreck. Exposed an RTZ to racing across the base. He wants that Admiral. Looks like he can't quite chase down Jerex though, but. It really is only OG back. And that and EG survived by themselves. The Rx from the bottom, they'll move over towards mid. OG will have the full fight man. They need so many shoes. They need a massive air percenter or something. And Arteezy just jumping behind tier fours. Arteezy, I mean, he's got the enrage. He knows he's okay. But incredibly bossy play. But it's doing what it needs to. Giving space for the male. Tier three. Playing very, very, very fast. He has ages. The joining team kick with this, the epicent on the back line, S4! He caught two! S4 takes down to immediately, Samael now! He needs help, Universe is going to come in, there'll be a buyback from Crit. Can that cover this EG? Coming through again, S4 with the burrow, traffic flight, shares the buyback from Fly. Well, the buyback from Arteezy as well, EG just coming straight back in, Crit relocated in to allow the pressure to continue, even though S4 hits a nice two-man AP. GG is going to be called. EG have done it. They managed to bring the series to a game three. And this is this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see some little equal from both. So we want a game three. We're going to get it. But I mean, which way is going?